Hey, RVA, this is the champ. You know another guy named Mike. Make sure you check out my main man, Mike King Biz. Monday through Friday, 5 to 7 a.m. on Sports 106. One on the mic with Mike is the champion of business talk radio. You're starting to irritate me. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back on the mic with Mike. We are the premier business radio program. We're based out of Richmond, Virginia, here coming to you from ESPN Studios. So you can follow me on social platforms, hashtag on the mic RVA, as well as uh, Mike King Biz. So we talk to the best and the brightest. Sometimes we reach across state lines. When I see people who are out there who are doing some really cool things, what we do is we say, or either they reach out and they say, hey, I'm doing something pretty cool. Uh, let's collaborate. And what we do is we talk to game changers out there. We got with us Michael, otherwise known as the Redneck Financial Coach. Welcome to the program, sir. Hey, my pleasure, Mike. Pleasure being here, man. All righty. So it's a, I'd say it's a business show. Tell us who you are and what you do. Well, I, you know, I'll tell your your listeners, I, it's actually uh, Pink Neck, Mike. I don't know if they can't see me on the radio, uh, but I'm half city, half country. Yeah, grew up back and forth. And so I look city, but then uh, when I start talking, people the go, oh, yeah. Stuff he's, pops he's... Out. Oh, man, it's, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's evident. Yep. Uh, but what I do is, you know, again, long story short, man, I just help hardworking, down to earth, regular people. Uh, do better financially. They're going to live too long and die too soon. Uh, I have been blessed uh, with people helping me in that that area of my life, and now I just help other people. Other, you know, the ninety five percent of us working class people who are trying to make ends meet do better. Uh, that's my job is to help them figure out how to do that, buddy. How did you get to that road and point in life where all right, so people helped you along? How did you get to the point where uh, you're saying that that's going to be my thing? Wow. You know, I'll make that long story a little real short. Um, you know, again, I was an overly educated pink neck. Um, so I, I had degrees and I had a job and I did everything I was supposed to do to be successful. Right. Get a good job, get education, work hard. And the end result of that was, you know, my first home had issues and we had to I had to file bankruptcy, you know, around 28, 29 years old, uh, newly married, worked uh a job I didn't like for a major company. I worked night shift. And so I was a disaster. Had to get, had to file bankruptcy because the homes were built with foundation issues, man. With no legal recourse. I hired a company. They were a scam. And so that was the culmination of all that hard work, Mike. What was just, you know, being devastated. And I had a lot of ambition, but I had uh, no clue of how to realize it. So fast forward and when, um, I, you know, I was kind of down in the dumps and I went to my cousin's house and my cousin's a bigger goofball than me. And uh, he was just sitting there one day, we we're playing cards and he said, hey, man, he pulled his folder out. He says, you know what? He said, I'm going to pay my house off in eight years and I'm going to do all this and I'm on the track to be independent. And I, honestly, I said, man, get the heck out of here. You must be drunk, right? I, I paid no attention to it. So he introduced me two days later. The guy that helped him called me. And I tell people that story for several reasons. But the main thing is, if I had been doing okay in life, right, paying the bills, taking care of stuff, putting some money away, I told a man, no, no, I'm not interested. I'm fine. No, that would have been the biggest mistake of my life. So he taught me what I do today. And and really, the culmination is this. If I had been, like I said, it, it, I've never heard of a, a financial person trying to work with a broke person before. Right. So that <laughs> caught my attention. Hold up, man. So what are you saying? Financial people, they aren't on the lookout for broke people. That's what we say. No. Oh, man. Uh, you know, I'm not knocking it. It's just, you know, that's how you, you they feed their family, right? That's how they, they do business. So they're looking with people with money and help those people do better. But who's helping people like me who, who don't know how to do it yet, who don't have money yet? Key word, yet. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, the guy just taught me. I'm not a stupid guy. For all your listeners out there, here's the key. I know two things well, Mike. But two, only two. Money and guns. Hopefully parenting, but that's too soon to tell, man. But I'm trying well, to because hold I, you know, I did see uh, your your daughter was offering some instructions on the technology side. So I'm I'm <laughs> techno I'm not the technology guy. I am not. 
So clearly, I don't know, do you need help? It looked like you had some help there. Yeah. No, that's my hillbilly tech support daughters <laughs> took care of it for me. So I am good, man. I, I'm blessed. And and uh, that that's the key. You know, I'm not a dumb guy. You're not a dumb guy. But we, we only know what we know, Mike. And, and, and again, we just need somebody to come along who's been a step ahead uh, or, or a step or two ahead and say, look, here's how this thing works. Right. And once you once you understand something, you can make better decisions. It, technology, money, it doesn't matter, does it? No, it doesn't. So when the light comes on for you and you're working with the person who's out there, you think back of when you thought there was nothing there for me. What is it that you see people are coming up when you start talking to people? What is the number one uh, issue that people have these days? Yeah, it's kind of twofold. Uh, don't don't make enough or earn enough, right? It's hard to make ends meet. And quite frankly, we're embarrassed by it. You know, we think it's our fault. Well, I don't want to talk to somebody because I'm embarrassed. I'm not doing well in life and it's all my fault. Now, it, it, it's your responsibility, but I don't think it's your fault. I, I didn't get up and go work hard and get an education and take so I could be a train wreck financially. I just didn't know how to do better, right? And so that's the key. Seek knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Go out there and learn what you don't know so you can make better decisions. And that's just simply what I do. I help people understand that subject. I mean, they're it's going to impact how they give to others, what they do for their own family, right? Their time and money. And nothing's more important, right? You don't want to waste that. So just helping people understand. So their light bulb, it's not about convincing and selling. It's about helping them go, oh, I get this. Now that you get it, can you make a better decision? I hope so, because if you can't, I won't work with you. But most people, thank goodness, Mike, are smart enough to see that. They say, oh, man, now I get this. You know, tell me more. They're going to research it. They're, they're going to take better steps. Man, it's it's that simple. It's not always easy, but but it's that simple. I, and as soon as I learned it 12 years ago, man, I started practicing it. And then I started teaching it to others, because what are you supposed to do with good news, Mike? Keep it to yourself or share it. Hey, simple. So let me ask you, when, uh, what is it that a lot of times for parents, so my parents always own their own business, and never once were they sitting down with me talking financial stuff. So what, what advice do you tell parents on like financial literacy to talk to their kids about what's happening? Great point, man. You know, you can't teach what you don't know. So first order of business is to just be humble, make a hobby out of it, take some time, read a book, talk to someone. That's why I'm here. And, and learn more. So when you learn more, you can do more. And if you got kids, you already know, like I know, they don't really listen to what you say. They they model and copy what you do. And so I would bring the kids into uh, some financial discussion, uh, obviously not all of it, right, with your partner or yourself, and uh, have fun with it, man. There's things you can do to get your kid a fast start. Uh, my, my daughter, again, I, I was raised and grew up very poor. And then I, I ended up going kind of a middle-class lifestyle. So it's just real funny to see my daughter uh, talk about, you know, how are my accounts doing and things like it, it's it's just really fun to, to know that I had I can change my family's trajectory by just knowing some truth and principles regarding money and finance. And my daughters have a completely different attitude. So I would say do it for yourself. Right. Uh, but that's also going to trickle down to your children and uh, they're going to see what you're doing. All right. Make it. We talk about pizza. That's how I explained it to them. Because they don't understand that. Most adults don't understand. I just make a game out. There's resources, YouTube videos. I'm going to start working on some material for children uh, so they can start absorbing this. But it's also just as good for parents, right? Uh, I like fifth grade material. So uh, I'll keep you posted on that. But, you know, just go out there and, and, and try to learn something. That's what I'm here for, just having conversations that could be life-changing. And just how can teaching people, you what Cool. How can people find you out there? Uh, biggest part is LinkedIn right now. Um, the, obviously, there's a hashtag now that has 13 followers, which blows me away. It's just the uh, Redneck Financial Coach, uh, Mike Asherbrenner. Uh, they can send me uh, email, phone call. There's all that information's on there. Carrier Pigeon, whatever works. Whatever, I, I just whatever have... works. So wait a second. Do people have to be local to you, or can you help people no matter where they are? All 50 states, all 50 states I can work with, uh, remote. I love, uh, you know, silver lining of COVID. You know, pants are optional now, Mike. You know, yeah. Ed, you on the right. I know. You know but you yeah. don't want to be like the guy in the commercial who, who comes out thinking that it was a virtual <laughs> one. 
and he's standing yeah, with yeah. the tidy whiteies on. That, yeah, that see, way. I'm not that guy. Yeah, I, that's yeah, I, I can't do that. Uh, maybe swim trunks, but not this, boat. not this. All right, so here, uh, we always talk. This is a, a business show with the branding. Uh, when you hear the the redneck financial coach, I mean, it is an eye catcher. So, from a branding standpoint, talk to listeners about how to get attention because we all want a need to draw attention to us in any kind of business. Let's talk about that. Yeah, great point. You know, really, I didn't embrace this. I was hesitant to put that out there, and it's not kind of it's it's not you know a persona. It, it's actually somebody. Somebody reached out to me and said, hey, man, uh, you, you have a suit on your profile and, uh, you know, your profile stinks on LinkedIn. He says, why? I said, because that's what I thought I had to do. Right. Professional and licensed and all that. He says, is it working? <laughs> oh, heck no, it ain't working. Man. It ain't doing nothing. <laughs> so he said, what you got to lose? He said, you're a working class guy. You know, you've been there. That's who you love. That's who you work with. That's who you are. Why not put that out there? I said, huh. So, again, I'm extremely coachable. I coach, but that's I'm also coachable. And so I, I did one of my buddies. I was going to put my buddy's picture up there, and they were all shy, you know. And so I just got the picture, put my hat on, and said, you know what? H here's the deal, guys. This is the takeaway from this, Mike, the branding. I said to myself, if I can't be myself and be successful here and do this and be happy and, and just be me, then I'm going to go be a rodeo clown or some stuff I can be good at, right? <laughs> and so I just let loose. And that's what I encourage people with branding, man. Listen, if you're a good person, you got a good heart, that, that's all it takes. It's kindergarten skills before your daggum marketing skills. And and I'll encourage anybody to go out there and just, just do it. Mess it up. Matter of fact, when you look crusty and you mess it up, people kind of like that. It makes you vulnerable. And you'll you'll attract some winners that will come help you just because they feel sorry for you. Um, and, and so your branding really just comes from a place of authenticity. Uh, be you. And, and yeah, maybe 90% of the population won't like you. But ten percent of seven billion people, guys, is a lot you're, of people. You're doing good. All right, so you you ditched the suit, you put the hat on. When did you know you had something that, like, okay, this thing? All right, before you know, I don't know. I'm getting rid of the suit. I'm going to put the hat on. I'm going to drop the shingle out there as the redneck financial coach. And then all of a sudden, you're like, hey, this thing is working. Because when I saw it, I'm like, yo, I got to talk to this guy. Well. <laughs> I knew it was working with, you know this, Mike, it, anytime you become polarizing, right? So someone, <laughs> when you when you say your name and someone either says, I love or hate that guy, there's no gray area. So what I saw was a lot of people not talking to me, as well as people talking to professionals of all walks of life that blew me away to this day, man, people at the top of their game. I mean, accomplished attorneys, it's unbelievable, but they were just reaching out. And i tell you what, what made, I, I guess what, the branding part of this, right, is that I just loved on them, man. I taught them what I learned to grow so fast on LinkedIn and social. Uh, I did anything I could to connect others with me. And so when when you do something nice for other people, good people do that back to you most of the time. And that's what really mattered. And so now um, I knew I had something when people were sending me to other people, when they were posting about the things I was doing for them and others. And, and that people didn't even know what I did other than my title. They just knew who I was. And that makes them open to talking to me about my business. That's why I encourage you go out there and let your, who you are, your heart be known. And then people will be receptive to what you do in business, right? People do business with who they like and trust. Keep that in mind. That's not a cliche. That's, that's, that's truth. All right. How can people find you after one last time? Huh. Again, LinkedIn is the best page uh, place to go. I'm also on YouTube. Uh, my contact info, it's a public, so you can Google uh, my name. You can find it on LinkedIn, uh, email, text message, phone call, carrier pigeon. I just want to have conversations, and if I can't help you, I probably know someone who can. Uh, let's just have fun and network. That's how the world works now. That's how you win. There you go. It's been a pleasure. Always, I've been looking forward to this. It, it got blown up the last time, uh, but we, we, we powered through. You know, when when I look at a brand that it works and people say, I don't know whether branding and stuff works. It, it's like it's working because I'm talking to you. And then, like you saying, find your thing. Ditch the suit. Put Okay, so before I was on ESPN, I was on conservative radio. Man, I used to scare people to come on. I'm not going to come on there. I don't agree with I'm like, I'm here talking business. But like you said, if a lot of people don't like you, 
There are people who do like it and they want to hear. So the services that you're putting out there, man, congratulations and kudos to you. Uh, they stay connected with us. When you see something going on and you have something going on, just give us a shout. Let me know what's happening out there. Enjoy talking to you. Hey, absolutely. I'm going to actually start my own show soon, so I'll keep you posted, man. Have All right, you, man. Appreciate have it. You stay come in on touch, check. man. Take care. Good luck. To hey, you. My Thanks, pleasure. Man. Goodbye. Take care.